Good morning, welcome to your 10 a.m. daily weather briefing. Cooler than average conditions out there today. Uh, we did see a low at about 28 this morning and only expecting temperatures to get at or just above 40 degrees this afternoon. Before we start on a warming trend as we go throughout the weekend, if we take a look at the current surface analysis, we do see that high pressure is locked in pretty well in our region and uh, keeping things fairly calm and clear. We will see that start to move off the coast as we go into the overnight hours, allowing some southerly flow to warm things up as we go throughout the weekend. Looking at this morning's balloon sounding in the upper level winds, uh, we do see that northeasterly wind in the lowest 3,000 feet, um, 21 at 1,000 feet and 11 knots at 3,000 feet. And as we go up to 6,000 feet, wind becomes more west northwesterly as we go up through the column, increasing up to a peak wind of 83 knots at 25,000 feet. And the freezing level is was at the surface. Looking at the current satellite, we do see there are some clouds off in the distance, a few high, high clouds above, but um, most of the cloud material is off in the distance. Um, winds are fairly calm, uh, about 8 to 12 knots at the moment. Uh, temperatures right now are at about 36 degrees. If you look at the short-term model for the weekend, we do expect some clouds to kind of move their way through here and there throughout the day today and then start to build in as we get into the overnight hours, not expecting any precip. Um, as we get into tomorrow morning, we will be mostly cloudy, and as we move throughout Saturday evening and Sunday, we could see a chance of a few sprinkles in the area, maybe a few breaks in the clouds, uh, but we will see winds build up tomorrow afternoon and become quite breezy on Sunday. And if we zoom out and pick up on Sunday morning, we do see that system that's well off to our north that will be approaching and dragging a cold front into our area for Monday evening into Tuesday. And that kind of secondary disturbance develops along that boundary. And then that rain is not really expected to move into our area till late Monday and more so Tuesday morning. And the extent how much, so we are expecting some rain showers for Tuesday and then that moves out of here and then another system begins to develop in the southeast and this model has it kind of grazing us but bringing us some rain showers um, late Wednesday into Thursday. Uh, some other guidance suggests that we will get a bit more of that rain shield but we'll have to see how that develops as we get into next week. But otherwise next week looks like a warm beginning but a cool down towards the end of the week and for the most part we'll see kind of on and off showers or wet pattern throughout the week and uh, relatively cloudy conditions as we go through the week. So if we look at the 24-hour weather risk, we do see green across the board for today. Um, fairly light winds, a slight breeze out there, and we will likely see those start to diminish as we get into the late afternoon and evening. Uh, only expecting a high of about 42 today, and um, as we get through throughout the evening, not expecting too much of a cool down. Temperatures will probably be pretty seasonable this evening with a low of about 31, but we will see those clouds start to build in. Winds will shift to become more southerly, and we'll start that warming trend as we go throughout the weekend. And as for the weekend, Saturday, expecting mostly cloudy day and slightly breezy as we get into the afternoon. We We'll see the winds pick up, but still expecting them to stay below that 25 knot wind advisory threshold with a high of 56. As we get into Saturday evening, we will see mostly cloudy overcast conditions and a chance for some low clouds to move into the area and a very slight chance of a sprinkle through the evening. Uh, but otherwise, a very mild evening could see our low at, a, at around midnight of 50 degrees and then a, uh, increased warming throughout the morning before the sun rises. Uh, we will see that breeze stick around um, kind of through the evening Saturday night and with those low clouds we have colored the uh, chance for those uh, 
lose seal lines of visibility as a yellow. As we get into Sunday, uh, another cloudy, mostly cloudy day, and expecting it to be quite windy that day with some guidance suggesting wind gusts up to 30 knots. Um, and those gusts will mainly be during the afternoon, and they sh the gusts just start to diminish as you get into the evening, but still uh, pretty breezy conditions throughout that evening. And again, another slight chance of some sprinkles in the area, and a very warm day, expecting a high of 69, maybe even hitting 70. So we have we have a red for the winds above 25 knots, likely see a wind advisory for Sunday, and then also we'll have some of those low clouds sticking around in the area. Looking at the next, uh, looking at next week's forecast, starting on Monday, we'll have another mostly cloudy day. Uh, we'll have the chance of those showers moving in late on Monday. Uh, fairly breezy day on Monday as well. A high of 70, so slightly warmer than Sunday. Monday evening, expecting a low of 49, so pretty mild throughout the first part of the week. As we get into Tuesday, we'll see those that higher chance of some rain showers. Another breezy day as well, as that boundary starts to pass the area. And uh, a high of 64, so still on the mild side. As we get into Wednesday, expecting things to become more seasonable temperature-wise uh, with a low of 37 and high of 50, but another partly cloudy day with a chance of some rain as that next system, chance of some p.m. rain as that next system starts to approach and impact the area as we get into Thursday, if, depending on how much of that rain shield kind of impacts our area we will see, likely see some, some rain showers on Thursday um, with a high around 51. Well, that wraps up the 10 a.m. daily weather briefing. We'll be back again on Monday at 8.15 and 10 a.m. Otherwise, enjoy the rest of your day.